Having trouble scoring in Madden 23? Yeah. No! Whether you're constantly getting sacked, oh my God. having trouble beating man coverage, or just want a more explosive offense, Today I'm going to show you 7 glitch routes that no one knows about that score instant TDs from anywhere on the field. If you want to see the glitchiest routes in Madden 23, stick around after the intro. The For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back Money Team, this is Mad Money Shot. Man coverage is definitely the meta. Whether Man Cover 1, which is probably the best coverage in the game, or Man Zero Blitz, which is something that everybody's running. It gets instant pressure, it doesn't allow much time for you to do anything on offense. As it can really reduce your offense to a lot of run plays and short pass plays. Adjustments like slants, drags, zigs, that eventually will get picked up on by your opponent and start getting picked off. So with that in mind, I'm going to show you guys 7 glitch routes found in several different playbooks that can really beat Man Coverage and Man Zero Blitz instantly for explosive one play TDs. Now the plays that I'm going to show you guys today are, can be found in three different offensive ebooks. I'm going to go over plays from the New Orleans Saints, plays from the Miami Dolphins, and plays from the Green Bay Packers. All three of these offensive playbooks I have full breakdowns, ebooks in the description if you guys want to check them out and add more plays to your offense. But I'll also tell you guys all the playbooks that have these particular plays. Now if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to be a subscriber so you can stay Woo! up to date on all my latest videos. Other than that, hit the like button and let me know in the comments section and let's get right into the video. Now the first play is out of the Saints single back wing tight and the play itself is the PAFL stretch. This play can be found in just about every playbook in the game or more accurately every single playbook that has a single back wing tight. In fact, out of the five offensive playbooks that I have, this is found in every single one with the exception of the Packers. Now this play is a man zero beater, so we're going to use the Overstorm Brave throughout this entire video. So I'm just going to block one of my tight ends on the right. You don't want to block the Y route. I'll show you why. The Y route pulls whatever man cover cornerback is in the area. It's also a good check down, but if, that, if he's not running that route, and I'll show you this time, you'll notice that the man coverage guy in that area will essentially drop back and be a safety, which I don't want because I'm going to be attacking the receiver anyway. So you have to block somebody on the other side, the tight on the other side. doesn't really matter which one. The A route would probably make the most sense. All I'm going to do to get this X route open against Man Zero is put this route here on a smart route, which is going to be your RB, R1 button in your wide receiver hot routes menu. And you'll notice that it changes from this elongated route to this shorter route, which is much glitchier and gets open way better against man coverage. So all I really got to do, cancel my play action a little bit quicker so my running back can block for me. And then you can see how this guy out here really gets right over the top of the cover corner, although he kind of slowed down to catch that ball. You can see how the cornerback just stops, which is something that is not really going to work out for your opponent. Like I said, he just stops and waits to get beaten. Like I said, just put this guy here on a smart route, block the A route. And you can see once again, the cornerback just stops and it's a very easy one play touchdown against pretty much any man zero. Next up, we're in the New Orleans Saints once again, and this time we're in the gun stack Y flex. The play itself is going to be the Z spot, and this particular play can only be found in two different playbooks, the New Orleans Saints and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is another play that's good against any man coverage. We're gonna start off with man zero blitz again. On this particular play, this cornerback allows an inside release for the Y route because it's almost like it's programming the game that it knows it's going to eventually break outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this program against it. You can see here when the play ends, the cornerback was really trying to undercut the receiver on an outside throw. So since it's programmed to work that way, we're just going to throw the ball early and basically bullet and pass lead up the field so we can beat it before he breaks outside. It's really that simple. I'm just basically going to throw the ball, bullet, pass lead inside so it can't break outside. And you can see how you can get open for a very quick strike play or you can get open for an even bigger play if you get a little bit of separation you can get a catch and run one play touchdown because there is no safety over the top. Can also have very similar success against cover one hole and even cover two man at the end of the day because they all react the same way. But when it comes to these defenses, there is a safety over the top. So it's a little bit harder to get a one play touchdown. But if you make this one guy miss, you can easily be gone for a catch and a one, one play touchdown against just about any single man coverage in the game. Next up, we're in the Dolphins and we're going to be using a play out of the single back bunch. The play itself is the Sluggo Seam. And this play can be found in six different playbooks, including my 49ers offensive playbook, the Colts, the Dolphins, the Eagles, the Jets, and the Texans. 
This play is specifically a cover one play only as it's an option route and it will only react this way against cover one. Now the sluggo route on the left side of the field with the single wide receiver is actually a pretty good man coverage beater play, but it's kind of 50-50. It really depends on whether or not the cornerback bites on the inside route. It's not something that's going to be as uh, consistent as the other route that I'm going to show you, but it's something that you can definitely use and it's way more common in other playbooks. So you can probably find a sluggo route in any number of formations in any number of plays but you really have to wait to see this guy here react on the inside move and then basically wait for him to get outside bullet and pass lead or even lob and pass lead for a big play the much more consistent play is on the other side with the a route all you really have to do to get this a route open is run the play it doesn't really take any adjustments it will run perfectly just as is a lot of times i like to streak the rb route next to it so i can basically pull the safety away but at the end of the day it's just something to do with how this jam function just fails and they can see you can get some really big plays plays opened outside of the numbers. Now, sometimes the safety can be a bigger issue than the actual uh, cornerback that's in coverage. So if you want to motion across the B route, which really isn't being used and put him on a streak, a lot of times this will hold that safety over there on the other side of the field a lot longer and make it a lot easier to beat this cornerback over the top for a much easier one play touchdown. Next up, we're going to move over to the Packers and out of the single back bunch, we have a play that can really only be found in four different playbooks. The play is called the Z option and it's found in the Broncos, Falcons, Packers and Titans. This is another play that's going to work best against cover one hole. This play used to be all about this route here, this stop and go route. You used to be able to smart route this the same way. It would shorten the route and it would be a very consistent play against cover one man. It would basically shorten it and then whatever cornerback you're running against would bite on this. I guess EA patched that because it doesn't work anymore. You can see here now nobody bites on it and it's just covered the entire way down the field. It's not a big deal though because there's actually a much better route on the other side. Once again, in the bunch. All we're going to do to get this route open here is put the A route on a curl, which is something that really makes this entire play happen. It has nothing really to do with the B route. It has nothing to do with the option route. It's more about the curl route. You're gonna see when they come out of their break on this particular play, the B route goes around the curl route, getting in the way of the defender and really just bumping them off to get some very easy separation down the field for a very easy one play touchdown. You can see on the replay here once again, the cornerback can't get around the bodies and that's really what creates this separation. So it's really the curl and not necessarily this option option route but the combination is really what makes this play successful and it's very consistent as you'll see here on the next play he didn't even go around in that time and he still got the exact same separation for a very easy one play touchdown they bombed up immediately and then last but not least we have another play out of the green bay packers this play is out of the gun wide trips week and the play is called the pay out this play is only found in the green bay packers playbook this is another cover one man play this play here, if you run it as is, it really doesn't have any success at all. You can see how the X route really doesn't get separation or have any success. It gets blanketed pretty easily. If you smart route the X route though, and block the running back, maybe streak the tight end, take care of that safety, you'll notice that the X route does a much better job of getting open as long as you throw in the break there one more time. You can see the cornerback bites much harder on a smart routed version than the regular version. Going back to that replay one more time, you can see once he breaks in, this is when you're going to want to throw the ball. Bullet, pass, lead away, or even lob at this point. And he's got plenty of separation from the cornerback, which he previously was covered. Paced off the streaking tight end as well. You can see the safety is nowhere in the field to make a play. And it's a very easy one-play touchdown against cover one man. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, more glitch route videos, more videos on how to beat man coverage, hit the like button in the comment section and make sure to be a subscriber. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.